This is my gift from God. And the way I treat her is me praising God and thanking God. They're not only doing this over there in the Middle East. We're doing this over here too. And there's good brothers that love to maintain their women. If my 40 hours that I work per week covers everything in the household, okay, and you want to work, not only will I not be involved in the household chores, I will expect you to contribute. You're a man. You're always wanted. But once you got it, once you got marriage, you're jailed. You're in jail, man. And here's an OG from another culture. What advice would you give to your younger self? Don't get married. <laughs> You're free, man. You're free in the world, so don't get married, please. You know, forget about population. It will grow automatically. You know, don't get married. Don't lose your freedom and individuality. You know, and your pride, man. You're a man. You're always wanted. I'll tell you. You're yeah. always wanted. But once you got it, you're jailed. A, a lot of times I could have fell in love with them brows. I could have been like Sam. And I could have been, you know, a simp, you know, and, and, and be in love with these brows and, you know, be be mad when they leave. But when they left, you know, he told me when a bitch leave, give her a Chinese name, one gone, Su Wong. <laughs> my wife 250,000 years. She has a maid. She has a <laughs> chef. She has a personal stylist. It's my job from the bottom of her feet to the top of her head to maintain her because she is a gift from God. That 250,000 goes into an account that I have no access to. Only her, but she has every and she, her name is on every bank account that I have and every business that I own. Why? Because again, this is my gift from God. And the way I treat her is me praising God and thanking God. They're not only doing this over there in the Middle East. A few moments later. You want your house clean? Hire me a maid. No. Okay. I'm not a slave. No, 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 okay. no. I agree. I'll hire the maid and I'll marry the maid. Oh, oh. I'll marry the maid. As a man, it is your responsibility, regardless of whether she works, mm -hmm. to take care of her. But let me give you an example, okay? If you have you have average Abdullah, he's working 40 hours a week. As his wife, her name's Bushra, basic Bushra. She's also working 40 hours a week. Mm -hmm. Both of them are coming home after a 40 hour work week, tired. Just as tired as each other. But my 40 hours is paying for everything in the house. And your 40 hours is gone on your Mac foundation. Mm. Do you understand? Furthermore, if my 40 hours that I work per week covers everything in the household, okay, mm. and you want to work, not only will I not be involved in the household chores, mm. I will expect you to contribute. We're doing this over here too. And there's good brothers that love to maintain their women. Why? Because my money is her money and her money is her money. Who said that to you, God? God? God. So that if you ain't maintain your woman, you don't have to do it 250000 but it should be your job to maintain her. Me, I just like to do it big because my woman is a blessing. She's a big blessing. All praises. <laughs> so if she gets sick, if she's tired, if she's hungry, she's still going to maintain her home and still have enough finances to know if she's disrespected, she can leave and start a business to maintain her and bring more wealth in if she chooses. It's an option for her to do something for me. She doesn't have to. It's not mandatory. Worldwide, I know people, like literally people I can talk to on the phone worldwide. He the only one I know that says he does this. There's nobody else. Society at large is raising tricks and holes and knowing that you're doing all that you can to keep your family separated from this lifestyle. But unbeknownst to you, up until the time that you actually saw this video, you never put it together that America was raising, raising tricks and, and and they have placed you and your family in jeopardy.
because this is the social ideology. You work hard, you get some money, you give the money to the girl, and, uh, and she's nice to you. Or, from a female perspective, uh, when you find a guy who has some money, and uh, he takes you out, buys you dresses, diamonds, whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's the guy that you're nice to. In my mind, in my mind's eye, any exchange of sex for economic gratuity, according to Western institution. So when you come face to face with who you are as a person, an individual within this society, how do you handle that? Again, a prince of the game is simply somebody who chooses not to play that particular game, who has reversed the game on psychology and said, I want the cash. I want the diamonds. I want the furs. I want the house on the hill. You cannot have a woman who goes to work and makes good money and she don't kick her money back to the crib. You can't have it. It makes no sense. That's why I tell y'all, man, you got to apply the pimp principle. That's one of the pimp principles you apply. Every dollar that come into the house got to come through you. And listen, there are some women out here who make good money that just ain't going to be with that. We don't care about those women. Like, we're not trying to make women conform to what we stand on. We're not trying to make women conform to the principles of the ism. If she don't, if, listen, man, if she don't conform, man, don't be alarmed. Just send her back to the single woman farm. You understand what I'm saying? That's where she live at. There's a whole farm of single women out there. There's a farm league of single women out there, man, who ain't going to never have nobody. And if they cool with not having nobody, cool. That's fine with them. That's fine. Those women don't count in the real world. See, as men, we live in the real world. We dominate the real world. We control the real world. We created the real world. We maneuver the real world and, and shape it into what we want it to be. So if she don't want to be a part of the real world, go over there and let her be a part of that world if that's what she want. But one thing we're not going to do is let a woman come just live, on, live, up, live up on our dollar and we don't do nothing. She should come live on our dollar and, we, and don't have to pay nothing. She don't have to kick down. Man's women out here, man, that's making mid-six figures, man. Want a man to take care of them and they ain't got to pay nothing. If you make mid-six figures, we finna go to the bank right now and we're going to open an account that your money get direct deposited into. That's the account where your money going to go. You, you ain't got to do it. That's cool. If you ain't got to do it, then that's cool. I can just keep doing what I'm doing. I can just keep coming through, smashing you when I get ready, clapping them cheeks, and then going home if that's what you want to do. Because when it really boils down to you, the most valuable thing a woman can give you is cheek clapping, bro. There, there's nothing else. Unless you, unless you broke and you need a woman to help you financially, or unless you're sick and you need a woman to care for you, but if you're not broke and you're sick, you can still pay for care. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I tell you, man, the most important thing, man, is to get your money right. You understand? Yeah, you want to be spiritually astute and you want to be emotionally stable. You want to be mentally stable, but you want to be financially stable as well. You want to be in a position financially where you don't have to ever think about that. OK, now I need a woman to take care of me. OK, I pay a woman to take care of me. You understand? I ain't going to pay no woman to lay with me, but I pay a woman to take care of me if I need to be taken care of. I ain't got no problem with that because still there's no strings attached. She get what I give her. There ain't no chance for her to come in and, and have me wife her up and then she run off with half of what I got, bro. I'm not finna do it. No man should. So men in the Middle East, man, they ain't over here tricking like that. Nah, I'm not saying men in the Middle East don't pay the cost to be the boss, but here's the thing. These guys over here, they so, sim they so simpish, they don't pay the cost to be the boss. They pay the cost then let the woman be the boss. How you gonna pay her to be the boss? If you're going to pay the cost to be the boss, then be the boss. I'm not saying don't pay all the bills in your household, but I'm saying that that's seniority and that's privilege and that's power and authority. And you got to and you got to have that on your side and understand that you control that if you're a man. I'm not saying that's something wrong with paying all the bills. I'm saying that's something wrong paying all the bills. Then still, still let the woman be in control of shit. I'm saying something wrong with letting the woman just have her own account over there where you put $250,000 in it every year and then you can't touch the money. You ain't got no access to it, but she got access to all your accounts. Don't nobody do that, dog. Ain't no men in the Middle East doing that. Ain't nobody doing that but punk ass yada. Ain't nobody else doing that, man. If a man says that he's interested in you, make him pay. 
Tell them, oh, you want to talk to me? 20000 Oh, you want to marry me? 50000 Make them pay because when a man gets financially invested in, he'll take more serious. But if these men are entertained just because, oh, I love him and he loves me. Listen, majority of people sitting right now in divorce court are people that only ran after the emotion of love that fades. But when a person is financially invested, he'll take it more serious. So make that man pay. If he say he love you, make him pay. Make him come out of pocket. You'll know if he's a provider or not. Oh, I, I, I can't do it. Okay, I do a, a payment plan. Oh, I can't even do a payment plan. You don't deserve me. You want to marry me? Pay. Show me you love me. Show me you'll provide for me. Show me you can give me the lifestyle that I know I'm worth. And he thinks you're not worth it? Let him be. Let him entertain a bum. Let him wake up with peasants. But you, you focus on that king. Because when that king comes into your life, he's coming and he's not playing no games. You don't have to say, be my bills. This is what's your bills? Be my bills now. Even if you have children, oh, I got them. Even if they're fathers in their life. Don't worry, I got them. Here, take that. Take care of them. I love you. When you find a real man, he's coming into your life and he's playing no games. He's standing strictly on business and he's showing you the characteristics of God in physical form. All oh, praise is due to the most high. <laughs> so look at here, man. Part of what he's saying is true. You know what I'm saying? When a man takes on the responsibility of a family, of a wife, of children, yes, he provides for his family. But he's talking about it don't matter if you got children, it don't matter if they fought in their life. He's, probably, he's right. If you're going to deal with a woman in those circumstances, if you're going to deal with a woman with children and make her your wife, yes. But as men, we have to have a standard at, for what we're going to allow to be in the wife position in our lives. Like, what are you going to invite in the wife position? Are you really telling me that you're going to have a wife who is tied to another man for at least 18 years. It may not be 18 years left, but at least more, and not even just that, even when the child is 18, even when the child is grown, the parents are still tied together. That child getting a car wreck, guess who gotta be at the hospital? That mom and daddy. Man, let me tell you something, bro. That is dumb.